Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here again, I'm honored uh, to be in the presence of greatness. And uh, Marion is one of those people who, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, I was sitting here in the uh, Chelsea market and the phone rang and Megan called me and she said uh, she would like to give me uh, uh, an article right about me. And since that article came out, I got uh, quite a few compliments on uh, quite a few uh, people uh, and uh, we have not edited yet what we shot with Megan uh, at the uh, break but uh, mm -hmm. hopefully uh, the interview today and the interview from break will come out s shortly and uh, here today we have uh, Megan uh, production oh as yeah. the these, uh, these are two okay. little sculptures oh. this is actually uh, two sculptures from the parent and child collection so in this collection, I always do two sculptures. One is large, one is small, and they look similar in shape and in color. So for example, this one is called value, and this one is called valuable. So this represents the parent, this represents the child. So I have uh, about 10 of these right now, 10 different um, sets of these at present, and they're all different shapes and different colors, but you can see that they kind of go together. So. Okay, uh, so Megan is also as a painter. As you can see, and a, uh, a sculpturist. Yes, uh, I do primarily so sculpture. Um, I also paint, and my paintings tend to have a lot of 3D elements in them. Um, I just like the idea of playing with dimensions and playing with perception. A lot of my paintings can actually be mounted on a wall, that, and they are mounted in a way that they can turn 360 degrees when somebody is looking at them on a wall. So that way, you can kind of position the painting any way that you think it looks best. There's no right or wrong way to view the painting. Okay, so, and this is also, you can take a picture from any angle? Yes, this is any angle, as you can see, you can situate them any way that you want. These are more traditional sculptures in that they're meant just to kind of sit or, you know, on a table or on a wall unit or something like that. But yep, they can be viewed from any angle. Okay, is that a travel piece? Uh, yeah, these are very light, they can travel very easily. I also have some really large pieces. I actually did a piece called uh, Flowing Eternally that it's not a parent and child collection, but it's a big, huge sculpture, and it was made out of about 16 to 18 pounds of clay, and it's very large, and I won first place for it in an art contest, so wow. I was very pleased with that. Is it easy to, uh, they one of the kind, correct? Mm -hmm. Or is it easy to make uh, lots of them, or okay, copy them? Yes, I mean, I'm, no two will ever be exactly the same. Like, let's say that I sold these, mm -hmm. and then somebody else came along and said, you know, I really like that piece, I would mm -hmm. like to get one for myself. I could definitely do it on commission, I could recreate this, but at the same point, it would be a little tiny bit different. So I'd I make see. it very similar, but no two are ever exactly alike, because it's handmade artwork. Okay. Uh, do you think... Uh, Th that is uh, something that's upcoming uh, uh, style or something that uh, w will be more popular in the future? Or is this is something that more interesting for you specifically? It's kind of a mix of both. Like for me specifically, it's interesting to make things like this. However, it's something that could be more popular in the future. Why? Because abstract art is, you know, very trendy at the moment. This is also interesting because some of the patterns here, these are very classic patterns in abstract art. If you've ever seen Miro or Calder, these are very kind of similar to those, but it also gives it its kind of its own unique spin on it, because I've never seen anybody mm -hmm. put these patterns into sculptures like this. And then I think my most innovative work actually, um, my, my three-dimensional paintings, which is where I actually take canvases and glue canvases on top of canvases, put the clay on top of those uh -huh. canvases, and everything's painted, and then it can be turned 360 degrees on a wall. That's something very unusual, and I haven't seen that before, so I'm, I'm hoping that people like it. And I have sold some pieces, so I can't complain. I've, I've been lucky. I've been very Hopefully important. after the, <laughs> the once the it's aired, uh, this show you'll sell yeah. uh, quite well, a few more. Getting interviewed is obviously you know, a really big, big honor. So thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Me. It's really a pleasure. <laughs> uh, Akineli, let's do cut.